The supermax at the infamous Goulburn prison may seem like a place of no return, reserved for the hardcore criminals and prisoners without a dim hope of release. However, in the latest Supreme Court judgment, the Comanchero sergeant at arms has demonstrated to his fellow bikies that it is indeed possible to return, just as he once cheated death after being shot 10 times at the Sydney gym in 2022. The notorious Comanchero sergeant at arms Tarek Zahed could be a free bird by the end of this year after being sentenced for hindering an investigation into the killing of a man almost 10 years ago. In a once-in-a-lifetime deal, the 43-year-old avoided a lengthy trial on murder and aggravated kidnapping charges in February. Instead, he pleaded guilty to one charge of hindering a police investigation of a serious indictable offense. With these new charges, Tarek was still facing a maximum sentence of up to seven years in prison. However, his lawyers convinced the judge to grant Tarek discounts on his guilty pleas as well as his poor health. Zahed was sentenced to three years and six months in prison with a non-parole period of two years and four months in the NSW Supreme Court on Tuesday, the 12th of March 2024. The sentence was backdated to his dramatic 2022 arrest in Sydney's eastern suburbs, making him eligible for release this year. Although Zahed will be eligible for release by the end of this year, it will be up to parole authorities to determine whether this most awaited release happens. By law, the parole board must decide whether the offender poses an undue risk to the safety of the community before parole can be granted. In assessing undue risk, the board must consider both the likelihood of further offending and the nature and seriousness of any likely subsequent offenses. Additionally, the parole board considers other factors such as changes in attitude, behavior in prison, release plans, and family support. If all goes well and parole criteria are met, the 43-year-old, one-eyed Comanchero sergeant-at-arms may find himself bestowed with freedom just after Christmas this year, and could see himself entering the new year with his family. According to the court documents, in his guilty plea, Zahed accepted that he directed another man to destroy Yusuf Assum's bloodied Volkswagen Touareg after Assum was detained, assaulted, and shot inside it, hindering the police investigation into his unlawful killing in December 2014. The offense was committed while Zahed was on parole for a shooting offense, and at that time he was rising quickly through the ranks of the Comancheros, becoming club's national sergeant-at-arms. Zahed's life was dramatically altered after he endured a devastating ambush at a Western Sydney gym in May 2022, resulting in the tragic loss of his brother and leaving him severely injured. He sustained 10 gunshot wounds, resulting in physical impairment and substantial psychological trauma. The court was informed that Zahed has lost one eye, and suffers from limited vision in his remaining eye, due to cataract, making him unable to read or watch television. Additionally, he suffers ongoing muscular, skeletal, and organ difficulties, compounded by post-traumatic stress disorder, all of which pose significant challenges in custody. His lawyer said that in future he would need highly coordinated care, orthopedic surgeons and further plastic surgery and specialized counseling services. His arrest in August 2022 in Sydney's eastern suburbs was marked by dramatic events, including police firing beanbag rounds to shoot out the windows of the BMW he was traveling in. Since then the Comanchero sergeant has been confined in the Goulburn Supermax prison, a place notorious for its stringent security measures and isolation from the outside world. Cut off from regular human interaction, his days have been marked by solitude and the harsh reality of confinement within its formidable walls. Hindered by his physical ailments and psychological struggles, each passing day in the Supermax presents a relentless challenge to his resilience and mental fortitude. For the past 18 months, he has had limited intellectual stimulation, with the exception of a compact disc player provided by the prison authorities, through which he could listen to music. With only a CD player to occupy his time, his confinement has been fraught with isolation and physical discomfort. The only visitor he has seen is his lawyer. Zahed's non-parole period, set at two years and four months, is scheduled to conclude this December. His entire sentence spans three years and six months, culminating in February 2026, factoring in time already served. The backdating of his sentence from his arrest means Zahed will become eligible for parole on December 27. Despite this, the judge noted that those accountable for Assume's death have yet to face justice, leaving a lingering sense of unresolved justice in the wake of the tragedy. 
The judge's remarks highlight the broader implications of Zahed's impending release, raising questions about the fairness and completeness of the legal process surrounding Assum's murder. Upon his release, Zahed expressed a desire to return to Victoria, where he previously resided. If you're looking for more exciting and eye-catching regular bikey updates, don't hesitate, smash that subscribe button, spread the word rapidly, hit that like button, share your thoughts in the comments section, and for the true grid Spartans out there, consider sending a super thanks to show some love. It goes a long way in keeping us motivated and the channel thriving, as most of the videos on this channel are not monetized due to its crime-related content. Stay tuned, stay curious, stay awesome and take care. Wu-Tang.